Anytime you get some fault code, there can be freeze frame data associated to that code. And that is basically shot of the live data exactly from the time when the fault code was stored in your ECU. Okay, so I have fault code PO500 and these are the freeze frame data for that code. So exactly when PO500 was stored in my ECU, this was going on in my engine. Okay, the freeze frame data are not similar, but your freeze frame will give you some additional clues that you need to solve issue your engine is having. In this case, this freeze frame data is kind of useless and doesn't really make sense because it says that engine RPM, so engine was turned off, the intake manifold absolute pressure seems very high, I don't know why. Well, engine was off, so there is no fuel trims, there is no load value, there is no anything. So this time the freeze frame won't help me that much. But a lot of the times, information from here can be very helpful and give you better understanding about why you have some code triggering and in what condition is your fault happening. Okay, check the freeze frame data for this code on Toyota. Here the freeze frame looks a little bit more useful. Now we have, first we have more information. The parameters actually aren't at zero, like in the Punto. This is for intake air temperature sensor code. According to this freeze frame data, the intake air temperature was minus 40 degrees Celsius, which is impossible here. Now it is around zero degrees. So that maybe could be caused by temporary failure of sensor. How I can confirm is go to data stream, find the intake air temperature sensor value and if it does work it should be dropping when I start the engine because with more air coming in the air should be a little bit cooler. Intake air temperature, well I don't think that we should see 39 degrees either but let's see if it starts to drop with engine running. 